are watching Yellow Rope video. So let me welcome you to my first video of series where I present you open source robots and other of my inventions. So with no further ado, let me present you Robot Minion. So this robot is meant to check if your plant needs water and it does it by uh, using um, feet that, are, that is actually a sensor, uh, a conductive sensor for uh, soil and uh, also it does it by uh, eye so it detects if somebody is inside the room and this is a uh, infrared motion uh, sensing guy and uh, if, you, if it needs something from you it will tell it to you uh, using speaker that's inside here and it will do it in a voice of a row of a minion okay and uh, actually uh, our voices are recorded by my wife but uh, I will admit that uh, she doesn't always sound like a minion and I had to do some audio processing as well. But uh, let's uh, see how it works, okay? First you need a plant that you want to upgrade using Robot Minion. Uh, so you should have a plant that is in a dry, st dry state. So the robot can learn uh, what is the dry state. So get a dry plant. So here is one example this plant uh, soil is quite dry this is uh, perfect for the robot so uh, what we need to do next is to set up the robot so let's set up the robot uh, we take the robot uh, turn it over and here is the button for uh, turning it on and uh, when we will turn on the robot here it, it will tell us what we need to do okay let's do it We need to wait. Please put me back in the pot. So it tells that we need to put it in the pot. So basically, if uh, if we wave him, that we know that he knows that we are around, it will ask us continuously to put him back in the pot. Please put me back in the pot. Okay, so let's put him put him back in a pot of dry, dry, dry soil. Okay, let's place him right there. Okay. Now we have him here. Yeah. Mm, so the robot understands that it is inside the pot, and it will. Yeah, and it will ask you what to do next. So in this case, it is asking uh, to, to put wa some to pour, wa to pour water inside the pot. So it's saying water, 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 water. So yeah, it's telling you that we need to pour some water. So let's do this. Make sure that soil is in the right moisture. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, robot is uh, liking the water. <laughs> it understands that we are putting water on. It sometimes tells uh, uh, like uh, nam nam nam, and sometimes it tells thank you. Uh, so it, it's not always polite robot, but uh, basically from now on it is monitoring the, the moisture of the pot. That's it for the setup. So if you have a robot minion, your, uh, your plants will never be withered like this one has been many times before. This has suffered a lot before the invention of the robot minion. Whole robot is open source and made from commercially available parts. Uh, detailed step by step uh, instructions you can find in the description of the video. 
but for demonstration purposes uh, I would like to dissect the robot minion and show its guts so let's start uh, by opening the case so let's start with brains uh, it's an Arduino microcontroller it is located here and uh, handles our processing and so next there are two types of sensors capacitive moisture sensor and infrared motion sensor like you have in a house alarm systems then we also have digital audio player module that reads audio files from micro sd card here and uh, it's holding by by these uh, placeholders there and it sends signal out of the speaker next we have battery charger module uh, with mi micro usb then power switch and finally battery here all parts are connected with a solder and wires and uh, they are on the prototype board and finally everything is wrapped up in a custom two-part 3d printed shell that is painted uh, to resemble minion Next I would like to share some of robots that I have found on internet that you could actually buy uh, if you don't want to build your own robot for your plant. There is a great resource to find all sorts of robots and the site is called tindy.com where inventors sell their gadgets directly to the customers. There you can find robot kits like uh, Water Me Bird uh, that you can construct a robot you, yourself from a kit and it will sing and uh, give uh, some sounds when uh, your plant needs watering. Robo birds like this you can get pre-assembled also from eBay uh, and both of uh, these uh, uh, bird type products uh, cost about $15 a piece. On tindy.com you can also find a gadget called Chirp that you can stick inside a pot and when it needs watering it will ring or give chirp sounds uh, they also sell a cheaper version that uh, you can customize and made into internet of things type of device yourself speaking about internet of things there is a great gadget for plants called green town it measures not only moisture of the soil but also nutrients based on salinity it measures temperature and how much light plant receives and it sends all information to the computer or over uh, Wi-Fi or some app and uh, it basically does the same thing as ferret uh, power flower gadget but at half of price and uh, green time goes for $30 a piece and uh, the parrot product uh, is $60. Next I want to direct your attention to some gadgets that uh, are not merely uh, monitoring devices. So uh, there is a all-in-one solution called click and grow. It is a smart pot that waters itself has lightning and microclimate monitoring and apps but it costs 60 plus dollars and you need special seed packages if you want to grow something and each of these packages cost almost as much as the device itself and uh, you can grow only very small plants currently uh, on market uh, there are at least couple of smart pots like uh, Lilo or Planty all of them are quite expensive uh, Lilo goes for $130 next there are also some more self-sustaining robo systems that works uh, on hydroponic cycles like Neva or Gru ecosystem or biopod all of these devices goes from uh, $300 up to a couple of thousand dollars depending on size and the cheapest ones most likely are too small to be practical anyway if you own any of these products I mentioned and you have some comments about them please leave them below the video for other users if they are thinking about buying them so they know Finally, I would like to wrap up my review of smart uh, plant gadgets with a couple of open source robots for plants that are also quite great. 
first there are not so practical but quite cool plant robot that tweets on twitter if it needs water next there is a robot that shows moisture level on the tiny traffic light finally there is a cute robot that shows emotions of a plant using led array it shows a sad face when it is thirsty and a happy face when uh, it has enough water Unfortunately, these robots will not get your attention when your plant is dry sitting somewhere in a corner or on a window still. So here we are back uh, in uh, my apartment and uh, there, there he has been watching for the plant for a couple of days and now when I walk by it automatically... Yeah, he says that we, he needs water, so I, I will add the water. Maybe more. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, so it, uh, it says that uh, it got water. Sometimes it tells thank you, but uh, today he is not so polite. So I will try to make a new open source robot every month and video with it. So all links uh, to the sources and instructions are uh, in the description of the video or on our website yellowrobot.xyz. And uh, if you like this video and you would like to see more uh, robots and other inventions coming, uh, press like or subscribe and thank you for watching.